hopefully you can hear me over the rain. Uh, this tabletop has still got some moisture in it, it's still a bit green and it has these big cracks running through that I need to deal with. When I first started carving it, I thought about using dovetail keys, but I really don't like them. I'm not much of a fan of them. I think they're a little bit cheesy, so I discarded that at the time. I thought about making a steel band to go around the outside in two halves and a bolt either side uh, in the middle, so it could be clamped together and uh, it could be adjusted as it dried out. But as much as I like steel and wood together, I think it spoil this piece. And then I posted a progress shot of this on Instagram and I got some feedback of some of the guys on there. And uh, somebody said about using dovetail keys and it made me rethink it because it really is the answer. As much as I don't like them, they are functional. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use camphor laurel, the same as this here, and hopefully they won't contrast too much and take away from the, the, the tabletop itself. I don't want them to be the feature. I'm so happy with how this one turned out. In fact, I'm extremely happy with it. It was a lot of work, but uh, I thought it was worth it in the end. I just wanted to say thank you to Graf for sending me the uh, grinding discs to try out. So I thought they were excellent and uh, I really enjoyed using them. I already have quite a few carving discs that I use on the angle grinder and you've probably seen them in past videos, but I thought these were as good as anything else I've tried. So I definitely recommend them. They plunged into the timber with no effort at all and they absolutely tore through the timber when I needed it to. And if you use the disc on its side to carve with, they uh, had lots of control and they left a good finish. So definitely recommend them and I'll put a, a link in the description below. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who's bought one of my t-shirts. I really, really appreciate it. So thanks for that. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you on the next one.